Well, I'm getting a late start on the truck today. Uh, first off, I didn't come out to the shop until uh, later. Ended up going and uh, taking down a tree behind the shop and uh, doing my uh, fall furnace service. But uh, I'm going to see if I can't get the front brake lines done. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. It's just a you know like one line that runs across the cross member underneath to the other uh, corresponding line with a T you know at this end to come down from from here. Now it did occur to me, and I'm not sure if I'll probably end up changing it out in the end, but I'm going to do it this way for right now. Is uh, uh, there's the brake line that's covered with what looks like a big spring. And that's what I'm thinking I probably should be using for this front part because it is, you know, going to be rattling against uh, stuff all the time and it's just abrasion protection. Uh, I'll think about it, we'll see how it goes, but I'll do it with the 316th I got right now and just and not worry about it for the moment. But just something I thought I'd mention. Anyways, I'll get to this. Okay, there we go. Uh, the front lines are done. Uh, I don't have any clips, so... It'll be cl clamped up tight against there, and uh, I'll have to probably make sure that that's out of the way so the two aren't rubbing there. That is a fuel line. And uh, comes across here, the front, and down uh, back in there, same thing over here. Um, I don't have any, like I said, clips, so I just have to zip tie that in place temporarily just so that it would sit where I wanted it to sit. But this is going to be basically what I was going to... Do I originally tried to bring the line from the master cylinder or the proportioning valve through here and then hook it into the T behind here and I just I didn't like routing it through a hole in the frame. Even with a grommet it just didn't it bothered me. So we'll do this and uh, we should be good to go. Um, I suppose I'll try and put some fluid in here but I don't know if I want to ruin my Sunday and uh, find a whole bunch of leaks or not but we'll try it and see. Okay, so I'm using my uh, homemade pressure bleeder to uh, bleed the brakes here. I got it up to about 20 PSI and, uh, and I've already done the rears. And uh, actually, I, I don't know what there is to show you there, but uh, that's the color of the fluid that came out. I want to take the top off and see. Yeah, it came out a real, almost motor oil color. So, I don't know what to think of that, but nevertheless, it's pretty much everything new except for the master cylinder so I don't know where that would be coming from uh, predictably uh, I did ruin my evening by uh, by doing this um, the uh, line right here at the front is uh, leaking right at that uh, T uh, this one right here is leaking actually which is uh, a little frustrating uh, I don't know why uh, I guess I'm going to have to take that apart and probably end up redoing that flare, so, unfortunately. But, uh, nevertheless, I think that's it for today. I think I've had enough for now, so I'll see you guys later.